This week, we finish up our series of stories profiling the three finalists for the Louisiana Farm Bureau's Young Farmer and Rancher Achievement Award. At its 94th annual convention, the Farm Bureau will name its top young farm couple. And joining us now is Twyla's Carl Wiggers, who traveled to a very wet Grant Parish to catch up with Ryan and Danielle Yerby. And Carl, it is no surprise that on the day that we showed up to shoot their story, that it poured down rain. It was a downpour almost from the time I got there. It was pouring before I got there and then even after. It was <laughs> all day, all day. Um, over the last few years, Ryan and Danielle Yerby have faced a lot of adversity on their farm. While they've battled everything from Mother Nature to the grain markets, the Yerbys have overcome it all and continue to thrive as a young farm family. Ryan Yerby has the tractors rolling through the field under cloudy skies. Working around the weather has become common practice for Ryan and his wife Danielle here in Colfax, Louisiana. Well, it's really gone from one extreme to the other. Uh, we went from drought conditions over the summer two years ago, uh, then the, the flooding over last summer, uh, and here just this past spring we got an early flood where it put several hundred acres that we farm underwater. The last few years have been, my goodness, um, the easiest word to think of have just been scary, just rocky, just a lot of unknown. Like any other business gambles with customers or whatnot, you know, we gamble with Mother Nature, we gamble with markets. The combination of bad weather and down markets have hit the Yerbys hard in the last few years. Well, last year, naturally with the commodity prices being down, that we took a, a huge hit on that. But with the flooding early on, then getting into a drought stage after that, our, we had pretty substantial yield loss on top of it. Financially, it really, it really kind of, it scared us. Ryan and Danielle knew that it would take a new approach to farming for them to stay in business. So we really had to adapt the way that we farm as a whole. Trying to save money on fuel, save money on labor, save money on inputs. Just making those those kind of finite changes is what actually kept us in the game and come back at it again this year. Cutting corners with um, how we do business from everything from here in the office to looking for cheaper fuel sources, um, possibly doing um, more work on time off. That way you don't have to pay an employee that work on time off means Ryan and Danielle find themselves in the field together handling many of the day-to-day -day chores on the farm. Yerby is also utilizing new technology to get a better view of his fields from above. With his drone, Ryan can assess his crop in a whole new way. This is the view from above of some of the flooding that's plagued his farm in recent years. I can actually, instead of being on the ground, I can sit there and, and see it from the sky and see exactly where we need to need to go. While new technology and changing farm practices help their bottom line, this only gets the Yerbys so far. The rest comes from their faith. You know, faith in each other and faith in his work ethic and most of all, you know, faith in the good Lord that um, we're thriving again. There's not a farmer out there that doesn't farm on faith. You've got to have faith that it's going, it's, we're going to make this. When it's hard to have that faith, the young couple is driven to succeed by their three-year-old daughter, Reagan. She is our pride and joy. And to know that she can, at three years old, can tell you the difference between a combine and a sprayer and a track hoe, and those are heifers, but those are bulls, you know? And that's the whole reason we're doing it. Really, watching her grow up on the farm is why we work so hard to keep going. Watching her go outside and look at the cows, or going down, we're going down the, into the field. And, Daddy, look at all the corn. Look at the soybeans, Daddy. It's just, it's like the farm is already growing inside of her. And that's kind of our driving force of why we do this. Hey, what do you want to be when you grow up? A farmer. While weather has been a constant struggle at Yerby's farm, the day we went to film the story, rain was actually a really good thing. He was able to turn off irrigation wells and his corn and beans got water the old fashioned way. The winner of the Louisiana Farm Bureau YFNR Achievement Award will receive a $40,000 credit toward the purchase of a GM vehicle of their choice. They will also go on to compete at the American Farm Bureau Convention in January at Phoenix, Arizona. And you, Kristen, you went along with me on all three of these stories. Mm -hmm. One thing that all three couples had in common was their great teams. 
They did. They all worked really well together. The wives, as well as the husbands, were both very really involved on the farm. I, I wouldn't want to have to pick it. I'm really glad I'm not the judge. No, but we're going to get to see all of that go go down over the Louisiana Farm Bureau Convention, the 94th annual meeting in New Orleans, starting up what we go down there on June 21st and stay all the way through the 27th. But the big dates, of course, are that Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and then the Sunday with the voting delegates. That's it's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. Thanks a lot, Carl Wiggers. Well, still to come on Twyla, we break for breakfast at an Alexandria staple in feasting on agriculture. But first, keep calm and dairy on. Trending on Twyla is up next. Stay with us.